tuning in to Inside Rutgers. I'm your host, Anisha Krishna Kumar. And I'm Mariama Oluwahuje. Welcome to our summer arts themed episode of Inside Rutgers. In honor of our summer arts themed episode, we're here at the Theater District on the Douglas campus. That's right, and we'll also be learning about the numerous different art programs happening around campus. That's right. So first, we're going to learn more about the Acting Conservatory here at Rutgers. Awesome. You know, I hear that Marshall Jones runs a great program. Let's check it out right now. The Rutgers Acting Conservatory, celebrating its 10th anniversary this year, is a summer program that allows current high school students to experience intense acting training taught by professionals within a college environment. Um, the main focus of the Rutgers Summer Acting Conservatory is for us to give high school students the opportunity to uh, be in an environment that's very nurturing and we can challenge them in terms of their acting and their uh, acting skills and if they indeed want to pursue acting as a career. And the great thing about it is, is that they love it. So they really bond and to be a, um, a really tight-knit, tight group of students. But you have to drink her in every time. They um, are getting collegiate level training. They're getting training that they're not getting in their high schools. They're not certainly getting in community schools. What I try to focus on is a complete total experience. Having them uh, have the great, the great training, okay, from the great faculty here at Mason Gross. We um, immerse them with uh, professional working artists who come in and speak about the business, and we see shows. I think those three things are a unique component that um, all supports everything in terms of the classroom. What we try to find is dedicated, enthusiastic students. One of the things is that they're living away from home 24 hours a day, seven days a week for 28 days. So we don't have time or energy for divas. We look for talent. Current Rutgers students participate in the program. We have uh, internships, so there are several theater majors get to intern. And they help me out in the office, and we go to New York every Sunday. We see two shows, a matinee and an evening show, so there are chaperones with that. They also get the opportunity to uh, sit in on, on classes, and in a couple of instances, they've had to teach some classes. What kind of a program would I like to have? And that's where I focus my energy. What we do find, though, is that it does. It has a profound impact on their lives. RSAC changes the trajectory of their lives. If you are a high school student that is serious about a career in acting, the Rutgers Acting Conservatory is an amazing program to help you out on the right path. Remember, the world is your stage. What a great program. Not only do they teach the students different acting techniques, but they also look for prospective students to join the Mason Gross program here at the university. Up next, we'll be taking a look at a video produced by Rutgers Today on the science behind singing. So let's check that out right now. Everybody needs to sing. Everybody deserves to sing. It's like dancing or painting or expressing yourself somehow. Every voice is unique. This is the science behind singing. It's very simple. You have the vocal folds, they look like this. This is the front of the throat, yeah, like a V. When they close, there are little puffs of air that goes and make this course vibrate. And then they go through the air and they project the sound. It is simple because you are doing it. I mean, you are talking. What is not so simple is low notes and high notes, yes? And to make that range even and powerful, it requires a technique. Breath is literally the foundation. It's like with a house, if you don't have a strong foundation, the house is going to collapse. I and mean, that's the same with singing. You know, if your breath isn't, you know, a strong, deep breath and it's very, and it's not supportive, your, your sound's just going to collapse. Singing too, um, with too much tension, it's usually, the whole art of it is kind of to try to learn how to take tension away. It's about control and letting go. It's both, both levels, you have both extremes. Control because it's style, language, art, etc. 
and letting go because the sound requires when you go high and when you go forte, sometimes it's let go the sound, not control it. I almost say that it's almost like control shouting. <laughs> Generally, a master class is being taught by someone who's recognized, someone you wouldn't be able to usually be in contact with or see all the time. Tonight, it's Nico Castello, who's a very famous tenor from the Met. He's going to come in and he's going to critique me on my, you know, my technique. He's going to critique me on my diction. With training, you can become a better singer. Here are a couple of tips for the average singer. Breathing. Breathing is very important for singing. You always want to breathe deep, and a deeper breath is really going to help you maintain a pure and a rich sound. Imagine the sound that you want to produce. That's very important as a singer. Just try to learn as much as you can. Figure out what styles of music you like, what things inspire you to sing, and try to learn about those styles. As you can see, you can learn so much from the different programs and camps offered here at Rutgers. Now please stay with us, we'll be right back after this short break. Rutgers Night Wagon is the most convenient way to grab lunch or dinner on the go. Provided by the Rutgers Dining Service, the Night Wagon accepts cash, credit, RU Express, and even student meal swipes. The menu is loaded with variety, including, but not limited to, mouth-watering burgers, shish kebab wraps, and tandoori chicken. Vegetarians are not forgotten as the truck provides menu options, including grilled cheese and veggie burgers. To find out where the night wagon will be, search its Facebook and Twitter accounts. Do you feel like you're drowning in old textbooks? What if you could turn those old textbooks into cash? Well, now you can sell textbooks right from your room. RUSA is sponsoring a new website called Are You Selling, where students can buy and sell textbooks from each other at their own disposition. If you're selling, simply fill out the information about your textbook on the site. If you're buying, you can match the seller's offer, or you can make your own. Once you come to an agreement, finalize and meet offline to make the exchange. For more information, visit areyouselling.org. We don't just talk about politics here, we experience it. It's engaging. Transformative. Phenomenal. Encouraging. Enriching. Eagleton Institute. The Eagleton Institute. Eagleton Institute of Politics. Hi, I'm Ruth Mandel, director of the Eagleton Institute of Politics. We're delighted to share the Institute with as many students as possible in the Rutgers community and beyond. Welcome to Eagleton. Located on 191 Riders Lane at the Woodlawn Mansion, the Eagleton Institute of Politics has been part of the Rutgers community since its inception. The Institute focuses on how contemporary political systems work, how they change, and how they might work better. The Institute is home to two specialized research centers, the Center for American Women in Politics and the Eagleton Center for Public Interest Polling. The Institute also offers a variety of programs, lectures, and events. To find out more, please visit eagleton.ruckers.edu. Are you feeling overwhelmed? Stressed out about school? Or struggling with substance abuse? Then CAPS is here to help. CAPS is the newly formed Counseling, Alcohol, and Drug Assistant Program and Psychiatric Service offered here at Rutgers University. This health services program is designed to provide a positive and productive university experience. CAPS offers various counseling services, educational and preventative initiatives, training programs, and much more. If you are looking for a place that supports growth of your mind, body, and soul, then CAPS is for you. This is Mike. Mike is the president of the Stick Figure Advocate Club. He has his first meeting today. Unfortunately, he had some trouble getting the word out about his meeting, so no one showed up. He decided to call RUTV to get help promoting his club. Just one week after Mike called RUTV, they made a commercial for him. He is super excited. Today is Mike's second meeting. He is nervous that no one will show up again. 
Hey, it seems like calling RUTV really worked. Now Mike has new members. If you want help promoting your club or event, visit our website at rutv.ruckers.edu and just click the Promote Your Organization link. Visit our YouTube page at youtube.com slash rutv or call us at 848-445-1966. Thanks for staying with us on the summer arts themed episode of Inside Rutgers. We're going to dive right back into the swing of things by checking out the different art related events that are happening all summer long. That's right. So now we're going to be checking out a special segment on the Zimmerly Arts Camp. So let's take a look at that right now. The Zimmerly Art Museum at Rutgers University is one of the largest and most distinguished university based museums in the country. The museum collects and exhibits world class works of art and makes them accessible through exhibitions and educational programs. The Zimmerly Art Summer Camp is a beneficial summer program catered to younger children to help them advance in the field of art. The Zimmerly Summer Art Camp program is a five-week program that we offer from the end of June until the end of July. Um, it's a five-week program, but we offer 30 different classes, a.m. and p.m., so we have morning and afternoon options. We offer a wide range of classes. Um, we have puppet-making classes, and this is one of the puppets that one of our students has made in the past. Um, so it's, they take five days to work on one giant puppet, and then they work on some smaller puppets also. Um, and let's see, we have portraiture classes, we have en plein air classes, so children will be outside in quad painting um, Rutgers landscapes, which is really cool and very unique to our program. Children will be visiting a bunch of different exhibitions, including galleries that um, have work from our permanent collection. So we have an American collection, European, and then we're mostly known for our Russian nonconformist art. Um, so depending upon the class, they'll be going into different exhibitions, or we also have special exhibitions. Right now we have um, our Sokov exhibition, which is um, a Russian nonconformist artist, um, so they might possibly be in there. But one class that definitely uses the European gallery would be the puppet making class, because we actually have puppets from the right time period, so they can use the artwork in the gallery as a reference for their own puppets that they'll be making later in class. Well, we think that our program is great because of the environment that we can have it in. It's really um, special to be able to have art classes within a museum and children are able to reference very specific artwork um, and real artwork within a museum space and that's not something that they might be able to get just in a classroom. camps are very motivational and it's great that these students have their staff and their parents encouraging them. Now we're going to check out a very special program that sends Rutgers students to the Shakespeare's Globe Theatre. Let's check it out right now. No other schools have a year-long conservatory program. It blows people's mind like when they hear about it they're like you stayed there for a year? You did what? This is Rutgers Conservatory at Shakespeare's Globe. It's the third year of our training program for the BFA actor. I am good friends with a chunk of people who go to the top conservatories. And I can tell you they're very envious of the experience that I've been able to have because there's no other conservatory in America that I know of that gets to go to the Globe for a year like we do. I think it's a big deal for a lot of them just to leave their parents to come to New Jersey to go to school. Two years later, they're leaving the country to live somewhere for a year, and I, I think it really broadens them. If we're going to give our students classical training, let's let them be in the, in the heart of it. Let them be in London. Let them be based at Shakespeare's Globe, which is the heart of, of Shakespeare. So our students are actually part of a working theater that is also a school. What the Globe added for me was a real uh, a sense of discipline, which was something I really needed to work on. You know, things like memorizing your lines, you know. There's no improv in Shakespeare, you can't. But I know it now because they were very tough about making sure that you honor the material and making sure that you honor the work. It's a chance to become a young professional because at the Globe they are treated as young professionals. There's a huge change when they come back. I don't know if they've actually physically changed or like grew three inches, but they just look different to me. They're more grounded, they're more mature. They have tremendous confidence. 
When you come back here, you feel really, uh, really grounded, ready to work. Very much like I have something to offer now. That's what I feel like. And before, I felt like, like I didn't or sort of on my back foot. I, I say to my students, nobody sent me over to the globe for a year when I was training. I think they have better training than I did. Uh, so for them to have better training than their teachers is a pretty big deal. Rutgers is so involved with the arts that students get the opportunity to go abroad to pursue their dreams. But stay with us because we'll be right back after this short break. The Rutgers University Recreation Services provides a great way for Rutgers students, faculty, and staff to stay active and fit. Rutgers Recreation is a full-service recreation department offering instructional classes, personal training, fitness assessments, intramurals, club sports, aquatics, outdoor recreation, leadership training, team building, and spa services. Rutgers manages four large recreation centers, as well as one fitness center, all of which are located within a short walking distance from the residential areas on each campus. The Livingston, Sunny Werblin, and Cook Douglas Recreation Centers, as well as the College Avenue Gym, can be accessed by students, faculty, and staff seven days a week. For more information on Rutgers Recreation, visit rec.rutgers.edu. Career Services provides the resources for choosing a college major, developing career plans, creating a resume, finding internships, and full-time jobs. Career Services provides all Rutgers students with the opportunity to network with employers through the Career Night account, attend career days and career events, and also have individual counseling appointments with our staff. Career Services provide a variety of services for regular students to help them um, develop their career goals, uh, prepare for the interviews, and search for jobs and internships. The big career fairs are held at the Rutgers Student Center each Friday, and there's also individual career events for students of all majors. Students can make an appointment through the Career Night account, or they can go to any of our two offices on Bush and College Avenue. Get your jumpstart at a career at careerservices.rutgers.edu. Rude. Careless. Inconsiderate. mindful, be respectful, be courteous. So the Rutgers Center for Digital Filmmaking is this new program and we're actually trying to build it into a major and Basically, we offer different types of production style classes for students. So we have um, directing classes, editing classes, animation classes, and it doesn't. The students don't have to have any sort of filmmaking background to be in the program. The Center for Digital Filmmaking provides opportunities to students who are interested in learning how to produce, edit, and share their creative ideas. Students from all majors are welcome. For more information, please visit masongroves.ruckers.edu slash filmmaking. Natural, refreshing, absolutely breathtaking. 
The Rutgers Gardens is a self-sustaining botanical garden that's right around the corner. The Rutgers Gardens offers educational programs, children's programs, family activities, a farmer's market, and so much more. Supported mostly by generous donations and volunteers, the Rutgers Gardens is able to stay open 365 days a year. There's no reason not to come enjoy the simple pleasures nature has to offer. The Rutgers Gardens is located on 112 Riders Lane and is open every day from 8.30 a.m. until dusk. If you want to visit the Rutgers Gardens or you just want more information, please visit RutgersGardens.Rutgers.edu. Rutgers University Bike Rental System is one of the many unique features here at the University. If you enjoy bike riding around campus, learning how to load a bike onto a bus might come in handy one day. To load a bike onto a bus bike rack, squeeze the handle located at the top of the bike rack to lower the bike rack. Next, lift the bike up and place it onto the bike rack, making sure that the front wheel is in the wheel lock. Finally, Rotate the wheel lock handle until the front tire is secure in the wheel lock. Remember to alert the bus driver before you put your bike onto the bike rack and before you remove your bike from the bike rack. Remember to wear your helmet at all times and reflectors and headlights during the night. Thanks for staying with us and if you're just tuning in, we're at the Theater District on the Douglas campus for our summer arts themed episode of Inside Rutgers. That's right and now we're going to check out a short segment that I produced on students here on campus having fun throughout the summer. Let's check that out right now. Hey Rutgers, get ready to hit the streets with me as I catch up with students on campus to find out what they're up to this summer. My favorite part about Rutgers in the summertime, I guess, is uh, that it's just easier for me to go and finish all my degree requirements. Uh, my favorite part is, I guess, lunchtime. I get a break from the class. It's pretty long, so, yeah. My favorite part about Rutgers in the summertime is the weather, and it's a lot calmer. There's less people. The nice weather, because during the wintertime, it's absolutely horrible. It's like a tundra here. My favorite part about Rutgers in the summertime is that it's quiet during the weekdays so you have time to study and on weekends if you're looking for people to interact with or have a good time with you can always find people around here. My summer goals are to maintain above a 3.5 and to hopefully meet some new people. My summer goals are to complete the Ronald E. McNair uh, program that I'm working on. I'm doing a research paper so it has to be 20 pages by the end of the summer. My summer goals are to get an A in Chem 1 and 2. I spend my downtime with friends. Uh, we usually run through the water fountains, have good philosophical conversations, do laundry, that kind of stuff. <laughs> I don't really have much of that. I spend most of my downtime studying or watching movies. I spend my downtime reading, studying, socializing with friends when I do have the time, and just um, trying to be productive. The best way to stay active over the summer for me is going to the gym about three or four times or working at camps. The best way to stay active is to ride your bike, explore uh, the outdoors, don't just stay cooped up inside all the time, you need a balance. The best way to stay active during the summer, in my opinion, is <clears throat> meeting people on campus, you know, because there's, it's like playing a game of hide and go seek, you know, there's people out here, but you have to get to meet them in order to be able to enjoy your summer. The best way to stay active over the summer is just get out and do whatever you want. Go running, go to the beach, see your friends. All right, now I'm gonna need you to put these glasses on and show us your favorite summer pole. would be kind of, uh, kind of peaceful. Inquisitive. Great. Busy. Interesting. That's all we have for you now. Be sure to stay cool this summer, Ruckers. I'm Mariama Olahuje, RUTV. It's great to see how the students of Rutgers University still stay so active throughout the summer. But stay with us because we'll be right back. We're going to take one last break.
Have you ever lost your RUID like Michael Williams? Well, don't panic. Just suspend your card by going to ruexpress.ruckers.edu so that nobody else can use it. Then take a second to retrace your steps and track down where you left it. You'll never know where you'll find it. Once you've done that, you can reactivate your RUID. So remember to contact RU Connection ID Card Services. Learn more by visiting ruconnection.ruckers.edu. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency says that only 8% of plastic cups get put in the blue bin. That's not a win-win. Wherever you party, don't forget to recycle. This message has been brought to you by RUTV Weather Watcher. Campus Information Services is comprised of many different departments that work together to keep the Rutgers community informed. The Call Center, also known as RU Info, is the main information and referral service of Rutgers University. The student colleagues here are a contact for students looking to attend Rutgers. They are also an info hub, answering any questions a student might have about the campus. RU TV is where the magic happens, producing shows like Wake Up Rutgers, Inside Rutgers, and Pass the Popcorn. RUTV creates promos and packages for organizations and events, covers live events, and also features at the podium and Weather Watcher segments. RUTV works hard to produce creative content that helps to keep the campus informed and connected. Be sure to check out the Facebook and Twitter pages of RU Info, RUTV, and Weather Watcher for information on events happening around campus. We've had a wonderful time hosting the summer arts-themed episode of Inside Rutgers at the Theater District on the Douglas campus. That's right, and be sure to check out all of the great programs that Mason Gross showcases throughout the entire summer and the rest of the school year. That's right, and if you enjoyed this show and have any comments or suggestions for our next show, please be sure to email us at rutv underscore inside Rutgers at email.rutgers.edu. Now, if you missed any parts of this episode or any past episode, you can check us out online at rutv.rutgers.edu. Thanks for staying with us, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.